a right-handed hitter. It helps balance the ball club, which is heavily left-handed right now. So this would be, this you know, looks like a, a fabulous move by uh, Jack Zarenzik, who knows him from uh, their days in uh, Milwaukee. I'm Matt Wehmeyer with the MLB.com FastCast. After spending his entire 11th season career in Milwaukee, Ricky Weeks is on the move. The veteran infielder has reportedly inked a one-year deal with the Seattle Mariners pending a physical. Weeks has never played a defensive position other than second base in the major leagues, and with Robinson Cano entrenched at that position, it remains to be seen in what capacity the M's would utilize the 32-year-old. Weeks hit 274 last season, his highest flip since 2006, but with a full-season career low, eight home runs. Blows him away at 99 miles an hour. The Kansas City Royals marched to the American League pennant on the strength of a lights-out bullpen. And on Thursday, a key member of that group was secured for the next two seasons. The club has finalized a two-year deal with right-hander Kelvin Herrera. The 25-year-old was arbitration eligible, but his contract will shelve that process until after the 2016 season. The native of the Dominican Republic put up a sparkling 1.41 ERA last season in 70 relief appearances and incredibly did not allow a single home run to any of the 285 batters he faced. The Tommy John bug has struck the Atlanta Braves yet again as right-hander Shea Simmons will be lost for the entire 2015 season. The promising 24-year-old posted a 2.91 ERA over 21 and two-thirds innings of relief last season, his first in the major leagues, averaging better than a strikeout per inning. Last offseason, the Braves lost both Brandon BG and Chris Bentland for the entire 2014 campaign, also due to Tommy John surgery. And finally, the Houston Astros have officially signed veteran starter Roberto Hernandez to a minor league deal with an invitation to spring training. The 34-year-old went 8-11 last season with both the Phillies and the Dodgers with a 4.10 ERA, his lowest figure since his all-star season of 2010 with the Cleveland Indians. For more on these stories and for the very latest hot stove activity, keep it locked in to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.